every day, one by one, I'm gonna try every recipe of Laura, starting from the very beginning. Come, join me on my challenge. Let's go. Hi everyone, my name is Ruth and welcome to my food challenge where I'm trying Laura in the Kitchen recipes for the very first time in front of the camera together with you. And today I'm going to try Laura's Nutella tartlets. I cannot still... I get over how cute and excited she was about this recipe. She really, really loves Nutella. And you could definitely tell if you haven't seen that video, you must watch it. It's just too cute. And if you want to see how it goes for me trying this recipe out for the very first time, how it looks and tastes in the very end, then keep on watching. We are gonna need 10 phyllo cups, 70 grams of Nutella, 10 hazelnuts, toasted, and some powdered sugar. I have a feeling that this will be the quickest recipe that I've tried on my food challenge so far. <laughs> Let's see. So the first thing I want to do is transfer the Nutella into a piping bag. I'm gonna use like a homemade version of it. I have a Ziploc bag here, which I chose one side of it. I stick it into a tall glass and just like kind of unwrap it like so. This way it will be easy for me to fill, you know, the end of it and just like I will cut the very end and I'll have a piping bag and I just can dispose of it later. So I'm gonna put the Nutella here. I'm gonna transfer my phyllo cups on a nice platter and then just fill each one of them with around one teaspoon of Nutella. Basically, I want to divide this among those, that's it. What am I trying to do? I don't know. I had an idea, but I kind of lost it. Wait, wait for it. Oh my God, okay, okay. I'm finishing. I don't know what I wanted to get, but I'm not pleased with it, but I'm not really sure what I want. Okay, this plate is tripping me out. One tartlet definitely is too much. I think that's what was wrong, but still, I'm like not pleased. Do you get this? Like in sometimes when you're trying to do something but not really sure what. I'm having this with this recipe. Okay, so now I'm gonna top each tartlet with a toasted hazelnut. I'm gonna sprinkle with some powdered sugar and that's it. I already see the problem with this recipe. I will not be able to arrange it in a way that I would be pleased or maybe I shouldn't choose this particular plate. I don't know what happened here, but these... Ah! Oh my god, oh my god! Oh! Oh, that was so cool! <laughs> this, these look really, really cute. They look way fancier and more intricate than you would think someone you know, how much time and effort they put into them. They look really, really cool. That I have to give. Okay, let's do what we're all here for. This smells like Nutella. It looks, well, well, when I know, like Nutella, but that powdered sugar and the hazelnut, you know, I was kind of smiling at Laura when she was so excited and like saying that her mouth's watering, but that's exactly what's happening to me right now. When I'm looking at this, my mouth's watering. It smells amazing. Okay, you know. Mmm. Mmm. I will not be able to talk now. It's chocolate all over my feet. Mmm. I mean, if you like Nutella, this, this cannot disappoint you. Mm. This is so interesting. It's way, way more complicated than, than it well, looks. Way more complicated than it really is. It looks like such a fat... Ah, they move! Oh my god! <laughs> I cannot handle it. Seriously, I cannot handle this. This one, like, display. <laughs> it drives me crazy. 
this looks really cool it tastes like nutella obviously but if i wouldn't know i would think that maybe someone made some i don't know chocolatey hazelnutty like sauce or whatever like they it looks like too easy to just put nutella so i don't think anyone would think that you did it looks super cool it really does this is so quick this is such a good recipe for you know I don't think I would make it when I'd have a lot of people over but just for a cozy you know like a cozy night with a couple of friends this could definitely be like a little side dessert thingy looking really cute I wonder would the phyllo cups uh, get soggy if I prepared it in advance because that happened to me I don't remember the name but there was another recipe I've tried of Laura's with phyllo cups there was something lemony, like with blueberry, something like that. I loved it, but I prepared it in advance and by the time I served it, the phyllo cups got a bit soggy, so I wonder would that happen? Maybe not, Nutella is quite like solid, I guess. So this is like, the take, this takes no time at all. It's really, really quick. You don't really have to do anything, just buy phyllo cups and that's it, you know? And it looks so cute unless you move it and then it messes with your brain <laughs> this is how Laura's looks like they look really cute if you have access to really cool phyllo cups you can buy those I saw there was quite a selection but I didn't really remember what Laura used so I just took simple ones my god it drives me crazy <laughs> if you want to watch Laura make it as I said you have to watch this video she's too cute in it so the link is there in the cards if you want to try this recipe out for yourself not that you really need a written recipe for it because you can basically eyeball if you're not as like a control freak as I am and want to follow every single step of the recipe to a T, then you don't really need. But if you are like me, the written recipe with all the measurements on both American and the metric system is in the description box down below. Oh my goodness. I feel like I talked like one kilometer per hour. <laughs> speed anyways if you want more uh, ideas for recipes the whole playlist is there thank you so much for watching i hope this was fun and helpful i think this will be one of the recipes which i look back and just laugh at myself so i hope you enjoyed it <laughs> thank you so much for watching again and i'll see you soon bye